Welcome back. This is Section 4, Restructuring an App with Blueprints. Last section, we covered the more advanced features of Jinja, the templating library for Flask. Using these features, we created the first full prototype of our web app. This section will cover what a blueprint is in Flask and how it can be used to simplify our code. Then we will adopt a new folder structure for our application that will aid us in maintaining the code base. This video is the first video of Section 4, titled, Creating Flask Blueprints. In this video, we will cover what a blueprint is and how to use them in our project. So, what is a blueprint? You can think of blueprint as a mini application object. While they do not have all the functionality of an actual application object, blueprints allow you to register routes to them, which gives you the ability to share common attributes between them, like a separate template folder, a separate static folder, or a common URL prefix. Now, blueprints are named blueprints because they can be registered to an application object many times by giving the blueprint different parameters to make sure the URLs don't collide. This is not a functionality that we will use in this course, but its implementation will be clear when we cover application factories in the next video. So, let's create the blueprints that our application will use for the rest of the series. Our blog and post routes logically go together, so it would make sense to group them into a blueprint to separate them from the rest of the routes. The rest of the routes will be grouped into the main blueprint. The blueprints will define folders to hold the templates of the routes, that is a subfolder to the main templates folder. Also, all of the routes under the blog blueprint will have the slash blog prefix attached to the defined URL. To attach routes to the blueprint, simply replace the app in, in at app.route with the new blueprint object. Since we specified URL prefix for blog blueprint, we also need to remove slash blog from the route decoder. Now that the blog routes and main routes are registered on the blueprint, we have to change all the URL underscore for calls we made to these routes in the templates. This is because the routes are not in the global application scope anymore, and we must specify that the route we want is under a blueprint. This is done by simply prepending the name of the blueprint to the wanted route with a period. Let's go ahead and change all the calls to the URL underscore for function in our templates. The last change we have to make to the code is to register the blueprints down at the bottom of the code. And import blueprints from Flask. OK, everything is set up for the blueprints. Great, let's test it out. As you can see, nothing has changed. And we see an error. This is because we specified incorrect blueprint in the URL underscore for function. Let's change it and let's test it out again. Great! Now we've fixed our mistake. and everything seems to work just as expected. Awesome! So what did we cover in this video? We learned what a blueprint is and how it can apply attributes to many different routes.
We also saw how to create these routes in our code and how to add them to the app object. In the next video, we will use the blueprints we have created to clean up our code and make it more maintainable.